Hey, welcome to Ice Age TV. And what are we doing today? We're driving my brand new 2024 Ford Mustang GT. It's a real kind of a base car, vapor blue. Um, doesn't have a lot of add-ons to it. Uh, it's a great car, manual transmission. And just ride along with me today as I share with you my impressions of the brand new Mustang 2024 S650 series with the GT performance package and the dark night pony package and i've actually been running different grades of fuel in the car today i'm going to run the 87 octane i've been running the 93 i have gotten up to uh, 24.7 miles per gallon on this vehicle so far let's see what happens when i drive today with the 87 octane all right so already I'm, I'm, I'm even taken back. I've got some car enthusiasts here, and they're all just admiring this new Ford Mustang GT 2024. You can sit in if you want. You can sit in it. Go ahead. Take it. Drive it away. Whatever. Have fun. <laughs> so uh, so they're just admiring. This gentleman's brother actually just sold a Dark Horse uh, Mustang up in Jersey, and he actually thought this was the Dark Horse. That's just pretty cool right now, and I'm with you because I thought when I first saw this car, it was a Dark Horse. But you save yourself like 15 grand by buying the non Dark Horse. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. There's a little uh, pull lever. There's gentleman here. He knows me from the car meet, car show, and he's driving his Mercedes right now, but he's like all over this thing. He's loving this thing. He wants one, which I think he's going to eventually have one. And they're just not real common yet. Now, that's the thing. These just aren't, like, everywhere yet. It's still a very small amount of vehicles on the road. Yeah, you don't see a lot of them. This gentleman got a nice mock E, same color. Uh, yep, right, right. Are you serious right now? So they get the dual, you know, air intake now. But you can supercharge these things so easily, and you're at 700 plus horsepower. You got plenty I mean, of space. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's what's so cool about this car. And that's what's neat. I kind of kept it, the price down on it where you can do things to it, and it doesn't get too bad on the money put into it. You know, you could be in this car between buying the car and doing things like, like 70 grand, which that's a chunk of money, but it would be totally a 700 plus horsepower, very well performing car. If you really want to kind of start getting into change out the exhaust and maybe you want to do some suspension, do different front coil springs, put the Steeda up front. The H pipe uh, fits, H and X pipe fit the previous gen S550 series and the S650 series. Oh, right. So the exhaust is interchangeable. Oh, wow. Yeah, you don't, it's so right. So, I mean, oh, so that's nice. You know the color kind of changes on that vehicle? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why I call it the ooh, vapor ooh, blue. Ooh. That's why they call it vapor ooh, blue. It's like yeah. a vapor, how it you know, changes. Yeah, it has like the metallic oh, in it. See, see that? Yeah. And the horse is black now. Yep. I've seen some people getting this piece LED. Oh, there's so many things yeah, that purple, you can do to these cars. Purple. Yeah, there's it's so really many things cool. you can do to these cars to really make it yours. And with Ford, the, the Mustang's been more known to be able to do a lot of stuff and it doesn't break the bank account. I mean, that's kind of been more of why more, there's more Mustangs on the road typically than Camaros, Challengers, because these are more affordable mm -hmm. to do a lot of things with. Functional. Yeah. I see. Right. Not yeah. The, not the fake ones. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, don't point over Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's nice. That's the nice. Fake, yeah. The, the fake. yeah, yeah. Well, it's nice. It's nice. All right. I'm going to go get the windows tinted. That's my goal. Let's see oh, if they get me in. Windows tinted? Well, I'm going to go out to Manassas and see if my buddies can get me work Listen, me in. My friend, I got quoted like 500 bucks for ceramic. Oh, yeah. yeah. My friend, they I say you want to go ceramic to get rid of the uh, heat. Okay. It's a lot better. Okay. Friend, if you tint those windows, my friend. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just being honest because right. I like cars a lot. Right. You might make somebody crash because some people like vehicles so much they will be just staring at. It. <laughs> I serious. love it. No, no, I serious. love it. I love it. I love it. I'm serious. I, you're good, man. Once I like it. Yeah. Windows, right. Right. And then you're gonna be laughing. Because yeah. <laughs> everyone at the light, yeah. you won't be able. They won't be able to see you, but right. you can see. Everyone. Right. 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 Yeah. Oh, you're great. Taking come to the car meet. I'll bring to car meet this weekend. Do that. I'm gonna do that. Remember, laws and weather's ten, nice. Hey, great regular. meeting you. you too. All right. Make it into yeah. Hey, thank you. See you later. All right, got some convex mirrors, and I got a nice little uh, rear license plate frame, which, how's that going to look? I really need these convex mirrors. I think these mirrors are too small. It drives you nutty, but this car's already getting a lot of attention. Wow, I mean, I'm just blown away. These guys are like, wow. 
All right, a lot of people think this thing's a dark horse. I mean, it definitely has that look. The guy that ordered his car, he did a good job uh, making you think it is the dark horse. I would say the same thing. Here we are in the car now for anybody that's kind of new to the Ford Mustang GT 2024 S650 series. And here's your iPad uh, display that uh, seems to be the most dominant thing now in the new, te te new technology cars. So here's your front iPad screen, your media entertainment iPad screen. And so what's pretty cool here is you go to the home screen here, or you go down here to this little pony button, and this instantly takes you to how you want to drive your car. And right now I've got it in sport mode. Um, you could go to normal mode. You could go to the uh, track race mode. Um, but then it turns off your, um, your uh, traction control. So we go back to normal. I like the sport mode. It gives the engine a little bit more power. Whether it does or not, when you have this thing in normal mode, you're not getting all that ECM energy out of it. So I'm going to leave it at that. I mean, you can go and customize some things in here on your own uh, base. You can basically really kind of change up the theme of the car on your in instrumentation cluster. Um, another nice thing about this car is it has the rev matching that is so cool this doesn't have the active exhaust but it does have the rev matching so that's really neat where the rpms match the uh, speed of the car when you're going through the gears so it revs up the engine and you don't lose that power it's more of the race type of idea um, it gives your accelerator timer brake performance you get all these different things what's really cool too is the drift brake you can actually turn this thing on and this is an electronic brake which uh, enables you to actually become the uh, Ken Block. Sadly, Ken Block's no longer with us, but it can give you the, uh, the Ken Block experience. And then you can just go here to your Apple Play, which um, that's kind of where the uh, everything is these days. Look at this here, though. I'm at 23.5 miles per gallon. Yesterday, I was up to like 24, I think. Let's see if that populates from yesterday. No, so that doesn't. But today, I'm a little bit more idling. So what do I get today at the 87 octane? Um, the comfort in the car, the steering wheel, the kind of the flat steering wheel, that's pretty cool. I like it. The cloth seats are very comfortable. I'm really, really impressed with the Mustang upgraded uh, uh, technology and redesigned car, and they did a great job in the seats. Here's your electronic brake. And all, you, all you do here on this electronic brake, if you look here, it's weird because it's just like rubbery feeling to turn off the brake, pull the brake on. So it's not like your typical um, mechanical brake. It's, it's an e-brake. All right, I got the manual, the uh, non-Tremec. This does not have the Tremec um, transmission. You have to go to the dark horse. And a lot of people I think are gonna get confused with this color theme, because this, this color theme kind of uh, is the color of what most people see on the dark horse packages where it's got the blacked out wheels, the blacked out roof, the vapor look, the blacked out, the pony, I guess it's the pony dark um, package, I guess it's a, that's what they call it. And all right, so let's get out here on the main road and got this guy here, I wanna do a U-turn, so I don't wanna do that. All right, we're gonna row through the gears and this does not have that active exhaust. So you don't get a real radical type of exhaust note out of this um for me that doesn't really uh bother me per se because i've got a lot of other cars that have a lot of noise but it could be the deal breaker for the true motorhead but at the same time uh, the good news is you can upgrade the exhaust and you really wouldn't feel that bad about ripping this exhaust off because you didn't spend all that money on that um upgraded active exhaust so another thing about this car, this car does not have the Magna Ride. And I've been a very adamant buyer of Mustangs that always had the Magna Ride. For me, just a little background, I've had the 2018 GT350. That was my first Mustang of the Voodoo Motor Tremec package. Uh, I've had a 2019 Orange Fury uh, GT Mustang premium package PP1. Um, then I went to a Mustang GT500 2020 magnetic color. If you watch my channel, you see all these cars. 
And then I, I went back to another 2016 GT350, 350. Uh, didn't have, just had the technology. Uh, I don't think it had the track pack. If I, I can't, it wasn't really that well optioned out. In the hindsight, after I bought that car used, I kind of regretted that. Um, and then I picked up a Heritage GT500 uh, last June or last August last year. Really didn't drive it. I kept my GT500 2020 for a little over two years. Great car, tons of video, baddest ass production performance car I've ever owned. And, and then I bought my daughter last summer, a 2020 used uh, GT Mustang premium package with the Magna Ride. Gentleman that owned it put a uh, front uh, lowering cool springs. You put an X pipe on it. It's a really fun car. Put a Steed of uh, clutch uh, spring on the clutch so that it felt a little heavier. But here's the point I'm trying to make to you. This new Mustang redesigned car, I would not spend the money for the Magna Ride. I have videos already of me driving back to back, the more expensive premium package GT, and then going back to the less expensive GT, non-premium package, and I was just taken back on how this car rides every bit, in my view, as good, if not better, than that Magna Ride. This, this new suspension, this new underpinning to this vehicle, this new redesigned S650, it truly does give you just an incredible feel of just really good quality car, rock solid. Uh, when it hits the bumps, it doesn't give you that jolt. It doesn't have that typical Mustang, non-Magna Ride type of uh, feel when you're going over rough terrain. This truly, you would think this had Magna Ride. If you didn't know the vehicle, like I know the vehicle and I put you in the car, then you would be like, this suspension feels phenomenal, it feels great. I believe it's electronic type of suspension with the uh, the shocks and all, uh, but it doesn't. So the whole point to anybody out there watching my video is, if you get caught up in thinking you have to order the Magna Ride, um, I think you're wasting your money. I really don't think you're gonna notice really any big difference. And does it add a little extra weight to the car? This is the manual, very low. I talk about that on my YouTube channel all the time. The manual sales of cars is minuscule in this country. Bang side of vehicles, I can promise you the manual option is pretty, pretty. I mean, I would, I would imagine 30 percent. I'm just guessing. I have no idea. But the whole point is, this manual has actually been a little better than I thought it is. I really rather have the Tremec. This is like the T82 package. Manual been around for years. Typically, people run these cars hard. They don't hold up and uh, do that well. But anyways, the car is so rock solid. I mean, it is it is comfortable. It is quiet. No like wind noise coming through the windows. No jiggling. No jarring. No no funky noises going on. And the car, um, I really think this is a 20 mile per gallon plus vehicle. Overall, if you kind of not really getting this car, and you get a lot of a uh, open highway type of uh, driving. So, anybody out there that's contemplating this vehicle, um, if you're looking for a nice sports car, two-door, uh, not really expensive. This car was $50,750. I got the dealership to get it down to like 49 grand, okay? And then, so, 48, 49 grand. So, for those people out there that are looking for the Mustangs, the market's kind of changed. And in my surrounding area, you're seeing right now $2,000 discounts. On these cars so not bad but as anything everybody knows everything more expensive but the whole point is I was looking at a 57 58,000 dollar car 60,000 dollar car and it's because you're adding the automatic transmission you're adding the active exhaust um, you're adding I'm just trying to think a leather interior so this has a cloth interior so you're adding a leather interior to it and just off the tip of my tongue, I'm just trying to think of some other. Oh, adaptive cruise control. So it's going to have the adaptive cruise. It has a 360 co pilot. So there's a lot of things this car doesn't have, but it's about a $10,000 difference, but it's still a very, very fun car. And take the 10 grain to save and put a supercharger on it. Oh my gosh, this thing is going to be really just an incredible car if you really start to mod it. And that's what I was saying earlier in the gas station other guys is you kind of keep this car in a lower end price-wise. 
it kind of gives you more of a budget to build it, do some really creative things with it, and you're just not into stupid, you know, crazy amount of money put in the car where you should have just bought a dark horse. But the dark horse, of course, is all different animal car. The dark horse really is a Shelby Mustang in disguise. So anybody out there is like, why do we want a dark horse? Well, the dark horse is gonna be 64 to 68 grand. I actually have one on order. And will it come in this year with the UAW strike? I don't know. But I do have one of those on order because I would like to have my Shelby uh, kind of ride back. Even though this is so much fun, I don't know. I mean, I could get that new dark horse to come in and it's just the, the active exhaust, of course, is going to make the car a little bit more fun. But at the same time, will it really be worth me spending twenty thousand dollars more? It would be a twenty grand difference in price from that car to this car. And at the end of the day, now that I own this, I could drive that car. I could say, like right now, I'm going through. It's just so rock solid. It's so connected. This vehicle is so connected to the road, and that's that's what I'm talking about. It is just so in touch with the road. This is so the BMW type of quality vehicle. If anybody out there is a huge BMW person, I think if they drove this car, they'd be like, wow, I'm blown away that Ford really has a, made a car that really is, you know, an all out really road car. And it really is just incredibly, you know, taut, no vibration, um, no funky rattling, very confident, and that's what you get as I go down the road right now. I mean, I'm on my line. This is just a very, you know, once again, if I had my eyes closed, I would not think this is a Ford Mustang. If somebody blindfolded me and put me in his car, I honestly would not believe this is a Ford Mustang vehicle. Just because, listen, I mean, look at the speeds we're at. I mean, this, and I'm talking, I'm trying to talk. So, but anyways, back to the dark horse. Yeah, you're basically getting, you're just getting a whole different animal of a car. But do you get that real fun factor? The, the Dark Horse has 500 horsepower. This has 480 horsepower. It's the same motor, 50 motor, Coyote motor. So in that aspect, you're not getting a radical difference in the, uh, in the performance of the engine. And, and you do get the Tremec manual transmission. That is a plus. You're going to get the Shelby underpinnings up front on the vehicle. Um, you're going to get a better exhaust note out of the car. There's there's some things that that vehicle has that I'm just not that in depth at every little detail. But overall, I would have to say, for me, owning GT500s, owning I have the Dodge Hellcats. I've owned six of them. I still have two of them. I've got the Red Eyes, and just for me, having all the different style of cars that I've owned is um, I'm just taken back on how nice this vehicle is. And even though I had hesitation when I bought it, would it really fit the seat of my pants? And would I really be happy and not have buyer's remorse? I mean, borderline yesterday morning when I got out of bed, I was like, do I drive this car back to Coons Baltimore Ford? And do I just go ahead and get the premium package? I really had that thought. And as I was driving the car throughout the day, I had to go back to give them a check to buy the car. Um, so that's why I drove back yesterday and I had business up in that area. But what's incredible is I drove the car throughout the day. I just fell in love with this car more and more. And I just was really to the point like, I don't want to give up this car. This is a really good price vehicle, great package. And I'm very excited. And if you watch my channel, I have a theme every morning on conversations. And I try to take a theme of what um, is in the car, motorcycle, love, aid, that turns into the state of times, general little conversation. And so this past week, I had on Monday a test conversation. You test drive a car, do you get ex you know, do you like the car? On Tuesday, I had the excited conversations. Do you get excited about something? What makes you buy something? Uh, Wednesday, I had the auto conversations. And I have so many vehicles today are all automatics. And has, everything's gotten, gotten so automated. You know, the automation is around us like never seen. And then today I had the manual conversations, which talks in about how this manual car truly has uh, surprised me on how me not being a, uh, a true manual loving person, roads, 
that are just jam-packed to traffic and you're getting a lot of uh, stop and go traffic I just felt like I regret buying this manual it just wear me out and I'm actually have, I'm really enjoying it and I'm really enjoying the fact that I'm getting really respectable fuel mileage and for today let me a little different driving conditions I own so many four products and does the 87 octane really take away the performance I don't think it will I mean no doubt in my mind the car is not going to run probably to its optimal you know, running 93 octane but if you can ride around 87 octane in this car and have a lot of fun and it's not pinging engine detonation and it runs good and every now and then you want to run some premium in it then it's a great car because it's a manageable manageable car on fuel expenses so follow me along today watch me as we progress in drive and right now i've got 394 miles so i'm going to rack up some miles in this car very quickly because i work out of my cars and hopefully uh, me sharing my video help you feel like this is something you're interested in or you'd be like you know i'm just not that type of uh, car person well you know when you have friends and i guess you know when you have enemies but when you call la tim manassas yeah, just called L.A. Tint Manassas on the spur of the moment. Told him I need a whole full uh, window tint. He's like, bring it in right now. I'm like, right now? He's like, right now. Like, you're going to do it right now? He's like, we're going to do it right now. <laughs> wow, I've always wondered what this button is. So, you got a button here, a little star button. You have auto hold. Look at that. So, I can take my foot now off the brake, and the car actually... Uh, holds itself wow that's a new one for me i mean i know the automatics have that but i never knew you could do that with the uh manuals i mean it's just incredible so rev match i thought i had that on i don't have that on oh i get it that's pretty cool so hold on here 